Hey there guys, this is the Nerdy Plane. Welcome to another DOS box in Windows for beginners episode. This is the second one. Today I am just going to be showing you uh, a few really useful commands that you do need to know uh, in order to be able to use DOS box properly. Um, so obviously you don't need to watch this video, you can just go ahead to one of the next videos where I'll be showing you how to run some games because I'll also show you the commands there. But this one is just so if you want to do your own thing, it kind of just helps you a little bit. Um, because I'll explain what each of those commands does. Uh, so firstly, as you notice, when you open up DOSBox, it brings up two of these um, windows. It brings you this main one, which says DOSBox 0.74 CPU speed. And then it tells you your CPU speed, how much frame skip you have, and what program you're running. So if you're just in DOSBox, then it'll just say DOSBox. Uh, that also has the intro to uh, kind of DOSBox. Uh, it has what your audio, your speakers are set to, and also it has your commands. So for what you want to type, this is obviously what we're going to be doing today. What you're going to type. Uh, the next window is the DOSBox status window. This tells you um, how DOSBox is running. Uh, so at the moment, because you've just got it set to default, there's not really very much. Um, so when you go changing some of the uh, options to make it run faster so that you can run some more high power games, um, it will obviously glow up. Uh, th this will obviously show that you've set it to higher in the status window. If you close either of them, then they'll both close. So what I'm firstly going to do is just open up my C drive by clicking on the file explorer and going up to C in the side bit. I have a folder up here that I've already created called DOS programs where I've only put one program into it so far uh, so I'll just be using that so you're going to want to create a folder called DOS programs which is where you're going to stall, store all of your um, games or uh, uh, applications for that are, can only run in DOS so I'm going to just create a new folder and call that new So, from there I'm also going to create another folder called another. Now you don't need to do these, you can do something similar just so that you kind of get it into your head what, what this is doing. Um, but the first command we're going to be using today is called um, mount. Okay, so... Um, now as you can see, I am just uh, zoomed into the uh, type area, so the first command we're going to be using is called mount, uh, mount, so you're going to type mount, and what this does is it will set a drive in DOSBox, for example DOSBox's hard drive, as anywhere on your computer. Um, so as usually hard drives are C, you're going to want to type mount C as wherever you want to wherever you want its C drive to be. So I want its C drive to be that DOS programs folder that uh, I, I showed you earlier. So mount the virtual C drive as your C drive colon backslash whatever that folder in your C drive is called, or obviously somewhere else like C colon backslash users colon backslash your user for example if you want to get your users for virtual drive so now see is c colon backslash dos program and then as you can see it says d drive c is mounted as local directory c colon backslash dos programs so then in order to change into a drive that you've got set you just type c and then a colon now as you can see we're in C colon backslash DOS programs or as DOSBox thinks C. So then I'm going to show you another command called DIR. So you type DIR which I think stands for directories then hit enter and then as you can see inside the directory of C there are two other directories which are, which are new which is what I created and picture which is just a folder that which is just a program that I already have. 
which are also both deers, which means that um that they are both also folders. So if I type in new because I want to change to it, as you can see when I hit enter it won't actually do anything. It will say illegal command new. Because if you want to go whoops into new then you actually have to type cd new which stands for change directory to new. Hit enter and now as you can see we're in new when I type in do again you can see that it says another so I'm going to go cd space forward slash and hit enter and that just takes me straight back to the C drive so if I then go cd backslash does the same thing okay so if I go cd space dot okay I'm just being silly here I was just experimenting uh, so cd new and then um, when I type in d you can see that I have the folder another so cd another and then now that we're in new colon backslash another nowhere else to go so I will then go uh, cd backslash and it will take us straight back into the C. So so far, mount sets um, sets a drive like C. Uh, dear, see you can view what's inside that directory. Um, CD and then whatever folder you want to go into. We'll choose. Uh, will set you forwards into that folder. And then CD backslash will take you straight back to the C drive. Um, I probably have some other stuff to do. So, um, I'll just pause it here. Another thing to do is simply type in VER, which stands for version and it will tell you that DOSBox version is 0 0.74 and the reported DOS version, so that's the original DOS, is 5. So basically you're running DOS 5.00. So that's it for today's video, I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, if you have any questions or any recommendations of videos I should do put them in the comments section and also if you would like to um well that's pretty much it in the next episode i will show you how to run a game called the elder scrolls one arena um then after that it'll be daggerfall the elder scrolls 2 daggerfall in the episode after that then it will be um uh, showing you how to automatically execute your um lines because trust me once you have quite a lot of things to type it gets so annoying so you can just automatically execute them whenever you start up dosbox i'll show you how to do that um maybe if another game and then from there you'll just be recommending me what to do so thank you guys for watching this video like i just said earlier don't forget to like and subscribe and see all of you in the next episode